Hello and welcome to Children's Message today. We're so glad that you joined us. We have a very exciting message for you today about Jesus and what he said to the Pharisees. But first, let's remember what we learned from last week when Chris talked to us about a parable that Jesus told us about a man um, who attended the vineyards. And um, it really showed us the importance of God's grace and how exceptional it is because he doesn't give to us what we owe or what we deserve, really. He gives us out of his graciousness and gives us more than we deserve. So we're so grateful that he loves us in this way. So now let's get to our story today. So today we have Jesus again, and he's talking to the Pharisees. So let's turn in our Bibles to Matthew 21, verses 23 through 32. And it reads as follows. The chief priests pushed through the crowd of people in the temple. They had some questions for Jesus. Who said you could teach about God? They asked. Who gave you the authority to heal people? Why do you have the power to create miracles? Jesus stopped teaching and replied, Before I answer, I have a question for you. Who gave John the Baptist the authority to baptize people? The leaders began to argue with each other. Was the right answer God or the people or something else? They answered Jesus. We don't know. Jesus found his leaders who could not agree. Instead of answering the chief priest's questions, Jesus told them a parable. A father asked his older son to pick grapes in the vineyard. No, father, I don't want to, the son complained. Later, he changed his mind and picked grapes for his father. Then the father went to his younger son. Will you please pick grapes for me today? Yes, father, I'll pick grapes. But the younger son did not pick one grape. Jesus challenged the chief priest with his story. God hears our words and wants to see our actions, too. He said, words and actions go together. If you say you love God, show it with what you do. So let's remember what we learned about in our story today. So we have Jesus and the religious leaders, and the religious leaders come and ask Jesus about what authority he has. And then, they, then he asks them back about authority that John the Baptist has, and they really can't give a very good answer about this. And so Jesus gives a parable about um, a father who asks two sons to help him. So the one son he asks to help him and he initially says he won't help him but then he does and then he asks another son to help him and he says yes but then actually he doesn't do it and so Jesus asks the religious leaders which of the sons has honored his father and they replied the first son the one who initially said no but then does actually follow his father and so what Jesus is reminding us is it's really important to think about our actions matching our words. It says what we say we're going to do and what we believe match how we act. And so we might need help asking God um, to help us in this area so that when we say that we love people or that we treat people justly, that we do those things. So before we end, let's put our hands together and pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Please help us to think about if our actions match our words and if the love that we have for you and for everyone else is something that we actually show. Please help us to match up our actions with our beliefs so that we are, when we say we follow you, that we show this in all that we do. Please help and guide us. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.